a katira tu tahi a katiki na tu te tahi o ngā karaki mō tāne no te mea kei te kōrero tātou mō te mā tauranga i tēnei wā. Nō reira whakarongo rā e tāne ki te ahurewa, ki te pūkenga, ki te wānanga, ki te taura, ki te taura, i te puweho ngā pūnga weu, ngā take, ngā rito, i te orororonga o te whaeau, i te orororonga o te taeau, haumi e, hui e, tāe ki e. A tuarua, ka mihi anō rā ki te āhuatanga o te angitū i tēnei rā, ki te whare āpārangi e tū nei, tēnā koe, tēnā koto katoa, ngā mana, ngā reo, e kuima, e koro mā te ripo wai kotau, ko tatu mai i ngā moka katoa te motu tēnei ka mihi ake rā kia kotau, tainu atu ki e nei te tokotoru, koko mutu e rarangi mai nei ki takutaha i tēnei rā. Nō kui te hona re nui ki te wawahi ake ngā kōrero i tēnei rā, hoi anō rā tākou he mehi atu ki a kōtau rā ngā mana o te apārangi kai te Papa Angus kōtau e hoi ai te waka ki uta i tēnei ata, i tēnei ahiahi ke whakanuia te angitū o tēnei mea te mā tauranga i roto i ao te aro whānui. Ko te tino pūtake o tēnei whakawhitinga kōrero tūtahi ake ki au nei ko ngai tūhoe, Te angitū o ngai tūhoe, arā, enei e noho noho mai nei. Tuarua, ko te wahanga ki te mā tauranga i roto i te whare o te apārangi, pūtanoa i ao te aroa. Nō reira, he reo rua tēnei wahanga e hoa mā, kaua e a wanga wanga, mehe mea kāre a koe te reo Māori. Hoi anō, kāre kore, ka whai whakāro enei o ngā pūwāranga, pūkōrero i roto i te reo ngai tūhoe, i roto i te reo Māori. Uh, so thank you for the opportunity, firstly, to uh, the Royal Society to, to have this panel. A reflection, I think, of the commitment that has been made in recent years to elevate uh, the, the validity of Mātauranga and Māori scholarship, both within the academy, but more broadly across all eight of our universities and our whare wānanga here in Aotearoa. want to also acknowledge our kuia and koroa and whānau who are with us today. Uh, who are here to support um, our three pūkenga, pūwānanga, but also those who have been honoured earlier on today as well. And to once again thank you uh, for the opportunity to really hand over the rākau kōrero uh, to Professor Poya Rewi, to Professor Rawinia Higgins, and to Professor Rangi Mātānua. They need no introduction. Uh, their elevation today speaks for itself, their work speaks for itself, the contribution that they have made, both individually but collectively as descendants of Ngāi Tūhoi, uh, recognises the criticality of the contribution that Tūhoi scholars have made over the decades to this space that we know as the Academy. So my role really is to um, give them the opportunity to share some reflections, some whakāro, um, some thoughts, I think, about the, the place of Ngāi Tūhoi scholars within the academy and within Ngāi Tūhoi, the criticality of whānau, hapū and iwi, but also, as you will have heard earlier on, um, the visionary component that goes with each of these scholars who are going to speak this afternoon. So I want to encourage them um, to not hold back and to actually share um, for Karl not only about the past and the present, but also the future. And today's panel, I must say, comes at a critical time for Māori. Recently, we heard about the uh, the reforms that will be the biggest reforms in Māori health uh, in the history, well, at least in the last 200 years of Māori health. That's important. We've also acknowledged some significant uh, research papers that have gone out in recent days talking about the place of Mātauranga Māori in the academy. And that follows on the back of some substantial corridor conversations and discourse that occurred throughout the, the duration of 2020. I'm going to ask um, Professor Higgins firstly to share with us um, a, sorry, Professor Poyarewi, to share with us a few about the place of Te Tukotoru Ko Komutu, um, unplugged as it is, and to, I think, position. Uh, the place that you will hold within the academy and as descendants of Ngai Tūkoi. So we're going to hopefully stick within our 15 to 20 to 25 minute allocation. Hoi anora, e te tuakana, e poia, tēnei ka mihi aku rā kia koe. Kei te tukunātu kia koe te wahanga tuatahi, 
he whaka mālama i ngā huatanga o te ingoa e kia nei, whaka huatia nei, te tokotoru a kō kōmtu. Nō rei rei te tuakana ko te tonu atu tēnei kia hara meira ki mua nei, tēnā koe. Ah, tēnā nā tātā rei nā ranga tira. Ah, toi te mana toi te te whenua. Ah, pōti ki te ranga tira tanga, kud uru wera ture whenua. Ah, tēnā tātā rei. There's been so many, through COVID, we've been displaced from our whānau and death. This is the one opportunity that we thought us three years, descendants from Ngāpōtiki have to actually come back together. Uh, hence, we are doing a shared um, presentation. So firstly, the, the, I'm starting to talk with the charm. Can we go to the wood and we're going to end with the Atticans? <laughs> what Rawini really said was, you're the shortest, you start first. She's the tallest, she'll be last, so here we are. Um, so, uh, te tokotoru a kō kāmutu, uh, we, the way that we did this morning, uh, it just unveiled itself and said, here's a point for us to start. Um, so, part of that song is, can we an analogise to um, our pathways in academia. Um, so, ka mea tāwera, me ka wera wa, me ka wera wa koe, ki te wai. Kia wete wete kia, tō kiri, ki te wete wete nga kau kure i te ati. So that's the first part. Um, so I'm going to take that part where in Māori tim from our beginnings, um, a child, an individual was dedicated to a deity from which they would take their lead. So for those of you who have the prowess in singing, you'd be dedicated to that, in which you would take your, your lead and develop into that realm. So in this one, it talks about Tawira dedicating his child um, to Kaukura, the deity of um, of war. Okay, but we we change that and say we dedicated now to the war, the tradition, the fight with the academia, us being Māori moving into that Western space. Okay, so um te tapu a kō kāmutu, here we are today. Uh, so with the song, um, there are aspirations. Uh, when you dedicate someone, you want them to be something. And then, one of our Pākeke, uh, uh, the Mākarini, had one utterance which always resonated with us is, Kia toa koe hayeti ko tai harakoa mo toi. Uh, where you go up there and represent your people. Be the success for your people and acknowledge that if you are unsuccessful, your people or Lord and your family will also be uh, carrying that burden as well. Um, so, dedication, expectations to succeed have been some years that we put on us sometimes subtly, sometimes not so subtle. Um, <laughs> but we've taken on those challenges, we've all gone out to our respective um, academies, myself at Waikato, then at Otago, and my colleagues will introduce um, their development in the path of Street to academia as well. So we've used this song to demonstrate how um, a mishap um, and part of the Waiata that came about because one of Rangi's ancestors saw some greener pasture on the other side of the fence. So he sampled that pasture while his loved one was having their child unknown to him. But then someone else sang a song about this child, which I likened that to, well, they were talking about an unfortunate uh, engagement at that time. It talks about people sharing the successes of others. Um, so, Mata Tene, we all come from a Portuguese, like two hoi, but we also have our allegiances, okay, what a what a yo. Um, and I shall hand it over to the wood. <laughs>
Um, just fantastic the way in which the, the waiata itself provides the taranga wairua or the inspiration and motivation to, to do what you do. Um, one, one other allegiance is your allegiance to Teote College, um, but I'll leave that there for the time being. And we shall go now to, uh, to uh, Rawinia, uh, sorry, to Turangi actually. And this is a, a question which has arisen around the, the ancients. Uh, tikang or custom of, of tui and the committal of young people to a particular pathway or calling in life aligned also to the, the mana of atua uh, ko te tohinga tērā ki te kāhui atua ko te tohinga rāne uh, ki te tahi momo pūkenga no reira e rangi tēnei te, te tukura i te rākau ki āpore Ah, kia ora tātou um, So Koka Mutu was an ancestress of, of ours. Uh, she actually had four sons. Uh, Te Oata was the oldest. But in the record, in the record it says he was someone of no consequence. Pretty harsh, I reckon. <laughs> but the other three were very prominent uh, within our tribal area. They maintained tribal boundaries. They were uh, warriors. They were leaders. Um, the eldest of the three was Tamahori. The middle child in particular was known as the scourge of two or uh, Te Pūrewa. And I liken that to Rawinia because um, she also scares me and Boya. <laughs> and the youngest was Tu Matawero. And I, I think that's me because I'm the youngest of us, I think. Anyway, um, they, they were called upon by the tribe at a particular time to maintain the mana of the tribe. Uh, they were tribal experts in, in our law, uh, in our knowledge bases, and um, really their name and their influence upon our people, upon two, which still resonates today. We have meeting houses that are carved after these individuals. They're carved on our walls, we sing songs about them. And this is one of the songs that is related uh, to one of Te Tokotorua Ko Kamutu. And so it was from this ancestress that these children came about. Now they were taught when they were when they were young. They were schooled in our traditional farewananga. And I think um, similar to the three of us, I mean, um, the three of us are products of the Māori boarding school system. Uh, uh, actually, the four of us, uh, including um, Mehana, um, Mehana and Poi went to Kaute. Uh, I'm, I went to Hotapaura. Um, Rawinia, I uh, went to uh, Hato Hohepa, uh, St. Joseph's in, um, in the Hawke's Bay, as did Tara, Tara's here. Um, some of the other fellows today, um, Robert Yonke is an old boy of Hotopara College. Uh, Graham Smith is an old boy of Tipini, um, but they've closed, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> <coughs> bit of in-house boarding school jokes. I think, um, what was established for Te Tokotorua Ko Kamutu was a, a clear goal when they were young instilled upon them was the fact that it was uh, their future uh, to lead the tribe but ensure that leadership was handed down to the next generation. And at this time, I just want to make a particular point and acknowledge the Royal Society, uh, but also you know, the irony of of some of the earlier fellows and people who have an association to the Royal Society, like Elson Best and Percy Smith and uh, Governor Gray, and these people who wrote and became the experts on Māori knowledge and Māori knowledge bases, uh, actually were not the experts, they were the scribes of our ancestors. Who gave, and our, who gave their knowledge to these individuals who went off and wrote the astronomical knowledge of the Māori, and they wrote fishing methods, and the non, people who were not practitioners in the space mm. wrote about our people. Mm. I think it's awesome that we're at a point that the ethnological view of who we are and someone else telling us our stories and telling us who we are needs to come to an end and I think we're on the cusp of driving towards a future, whereas Māori, no one else tells us who we are anymore, but we tell the world who we are, and we share who we are with everyone. 
And so I just want to say that there is a need to take Tokotorua or Kaamutu traditionally because they would, um, yes, they, they, they forged alliances and peace agreements, but they also stood their ground. And I think in many ways, um, if there's one of the similarities between what they did and, and I think our modern stand on it is, is we also stand our ground on things that we believe in. Um, and uh, even if that costs us, um, in, in particular with how we are viewed by the academy, uh, for us as individuals, we are so honoured to be part of this academy. But that honour only comes to us because of who we are and where we're from, and that's the true honour that we um, really are a part of and a legacy that the three of us are a part of. Kia ora tata. I also, uh, when Paulia said I was the wit, Rawinia quickly said, what did you say, wit or twit? Kia ora rangi. Um, yeah, there's, there are so many um, themes that have, have arisen already, one being mana motuhake, the other being tino ranga tiratanga, and, and those themes uh, emerged as well through Poya's kōrero, so I really encourage all of us to uh, absorb that and, and those kōrero, because the criticality of those, um, those messages to the academy are, are, are you know, with us right now. Um, and on that note, I'm going to ask Rawinia to um, address a, another related kaupapa, and this section is about the struggle, uh, the pakanga, te pakanga mo te mātauranga, te pakanga mo te rangahau. I roto i te ao Māori, i roto hoki i te ao whānui, tai noa mai uh, ki ngā kōrero i whakahuatia e rangi, uh, te whare o te apārangi. Nō reira, kei te tue i nera winia, uh, koe rapi te tahi whakataki i, i au ngā kōrero, te ngā koe. Um, tēnā koutou katoa. Um, as my two brothers have um, said, or well, one of them at least said that I was a scourge, um, partly because I bossed them around. I think that's more more the reason. But as um, both of them have referred to, um, being um, descended from the Tokotoru a Kōkāma to, um, and their, the history and the legacy that they left behind. I'm also reminded by uh, other waiata that we sung today. Uh, so we sung this song um, as part of our kōrero. Uh, Te Aparangi uh, sung a song composed by our uncle, uh, Te Wharehui o uh, And in that song, Cindy made a reference to he tai nui, uh, he tai ope, he tai roa. And so I just want to acknowledge the Te Aparangi um, for the many Māori fellows who are being celebrated and honoured today. Um, and liken it to that big wave, uh, which is essentially what the, those words talked about. So he tai nui, a large one. He tai ope, I'm filled with people. Uh, he tai roa. And so the challenge to the academy is to ensure that the tide is long that it's not just one king tide on the odd occasion. As I recall, and I look at our former colleague, uh, Professor Hokofitu, at the time when he became a fellow, there were very few who were there. Uh, so it was uh, tai temu, uh, ko pari te tai, so the tai is, is large today, and we want to acknowledge that and hope that it is he tai roa. Now I mentioned um, our uncle Whare Huia, um, as Mahana talked about, uh, because of that legacy. Uh, so as much as we've referred and started our uh, kōrero from Kōkāma to our scholarly legacy is uh, long and we were fortunate, the three of us, to be able to learn uh, literally at their feet uh, in many occasions in our whareneri uh, and the like. So I want to acknowledge uh, the late uh, Dr Whare Huia Norway. Secondly, um, the other song that was sung by Te Aparangi is Puri uh, which was composed by the late Dr Hedini Melbourne, who was also another scholar uh, who influenced our lives among many, many others. Uh, and as much as we uh, celebrate and sing uh, the songs that they compose, one of the things that I'm always reminded of 
um, Erangi referred to it before, is that those uh, uh, scholars of yore, uh, such as Alston Best, who claimed to be the experts in our culture, also were able to become the scribes because they learnt our language. And they learnt uh, our language so they could understand what they were scribing. And as the tainui of scholars, Māori scholars, continues to uh, move and uh, absorb the rest of the academy in uh, the different disciplines, uh, one of the things that I put out there uh, as a challenge, because, you know, descended from Te Purua and all, uh, is uh, how do we maintain the very core of Mātauranga Māori in Māori Studies departments uh, to ensure that we continue to grow that space as well as growing the rest of the academy. It's, uh, it's an and-and, it's not a, an all. Uh, so I want to take this time to acknowledge uh, Waipapa, uh, Te Arapautama, Te Puawamana, uh, Te Putahi Atoi, Altahi, Te Tumu, and of course, my own uh, alma mater, Te Kawa Maui, uh, who continue to teach our language, who continue to teach Mātauranga Māori, Te Kama Māori, to, who continue to expand our knowledge base, uh, the very core of Mātauranga Māori, uh, to support uh, the rest of the academy. And it is a great privilege to be acknowledged along other Māori Studies scholars um, i tēnā ora tēnā koutou. And it's no mistake that we're acknowledging my two oi today, but also thinking of those who make earlier contributions and those who continue to make those contributions at this time. Um, we're going to pick up on another part of, of your kōrero actually, Rawinya, and ka tukunātu te wahanga nō kia koe e poia. Um, in acknowledging the ascension into this, this space and this place, and becoming fellows today, uh, um, what perhaps are some of the essential considerations that you have and that your, your colleagues and Fanona here have as you, um, I guess, walk these spaces and as you also um, seek to ensure that whānau, hapu and iwi remain at the forefront of your focus as well? Did not we? Uh, Kotete so I just want to acknowledge that one thing that um, characterizes us three is the, our commitment to the Māori language. Um, so through our various pathways, uh, researchers, um, teachers, um, in that space, that's what's pulled us together. So I really need to acknowledge that. So with the, with the research that Amunia and I have done in the past, um, now I've been thrown out to the Māori wolves <laughs> to actually take your theory, take that Bright Spark initiative that you had, now make it happen. So I'm now with the Mātāwa and so actually I'm in the transformational space right now trying to do that with reason. But I'm so fortunate that I still have my brother here and my two here. Uh, when the wolves start beckoning, um, I need to go to somebody, um, but they can only protect me so long. And that's really um, demonstrates that we still haven't got it right. We've got the Whareo Te Reo Māori or a strategy in place now, which actions the, the part of the Crown and have the Māori people. There's still a lot of work to be done. Um, so um, with our collective commitment to that, um, let the language be used where you want to use it. And they will not seem to tell you you can speak here or not, or you, you speak where you feel comfortable to, to do so. Um, I don't know if I answered that question, Mihana. Um, 
på en højkjør. Ai, koe whakahau tu pai tera, tera pata e poia. Uh, me te mohe oake, ko koe tena kai te hautu o te wako o te mātāwai, ko koe te tuahine rawinia kai te hautu o te wako o te taura whiri te reo Māori nore re kiakahara a kōrua. Uh, ka huri anō uh, e rua pia ngā pātai kei te toi, kei te kiti atu au e hai ki te karaka e rua minute e toi ana, oi anō. Uh, e rangi, some of the, uh, the kawenga or the responsibilities that have been spoken of earlier, I, I know that those are a constant consideration for all of you, for all of us actually as Māori in the Academy. Just wanted to um, ask if you could elaborate on how one best uh, manage and reconciles both of those things, the, the, the responsibilities, obligations that we carry, that you carry as tūhoi, as Māori, but also uh, this need to share, and you've spoken about this in your book, this need to share Ngā Tauranga as it has been shared with you. Kia ora. Tēnā koe ho, Mayana. Um, yeah, uh, there, there is a, a little bit of a balancing act I know you're well aware of this, and, and, and as Māori scholars, we are we have responsibilities to we have responsibilities to the various academies and various institutions that we represent, and to um, being part of this, adding to the ever-growing pool of knowledge. But we also, and f foremost in our minds, is our responsibility back to the collective from which we come from. We are responsible to our whānau, we are responsible to our marae, to our hapu and to our iwi. And in fact, we're responsible to Māori them full stop. And um, we get one of the difficulties of balancing out, you know, where, who we're responsible to at any given point of time. So we'll be doing something like this. And at this moment, I'm just so um, elated to be part of this academy. But I, I feel the responsibility back to my own. Now, what do I do from here that positively impacts on, on my people and, and, and all of us in general, but it's the responsibility that I feel back to the collective. Um, I just want to say around knowledge. Yet there is iwi knowledge, and there's tribal knowledge, and there's localised knowledge, but there is no boundaries on knowledge. Our ancestors were really clear about that because they just didn't learn in the confines of where they were. Knowledge travelled and they travelled. We have records of our people travelling far and wide to gather knowledge and taking it back to where they were from, gathering technology. And the generations of the past didn't have the hang-ups, I think, that we have in a more modern context about protecting our knowledge, about shutting it off. It's only for a select few. My grandfather, before he died, said to me, knowledge that isn't shared isn't knowledge. It's dust. And so that's a responsibility. Yet yeah, we have the... the the role to make sure we maintain our knowledge. But we also have the responsibility to ensure that knowledge is shared for the benefit of all people. And that's my mantra anyway, Kia ora. Nā koe rangi, kei te kite atu e tō pāpa i konei, e whaiwhakaaro ana ki e rāhunga tūhunga hoki mō tō whānau. I roto i te poko poko e hoa. So Rawinia is going to whakakapi this section, and I think Rawinia may my part is actually very broad. It's about the future, te, te rangi apopo, te um, as, as it relates to te tokotorua ko, ko, ko ka mutu, um, ngā tirohanga mo te rangi apopo, uh, ngā kitenga mo te rangi apopo, ka tukunatu te wahanga whakakapenga ki a koe, e te tue ene. Um, those who know me, uh, know that, I, that my normal response to the, the question around the tomorrow or the apopo or the, you know, what inspires me or that sort of stuff, or all of us, is, uh, is always the next generation. Uh, and for me, my biggest desire in life is to have a printer. Now these two have mock printers, which are our shared mock printers, of course, but of course I want my own. Uh, because one of the things about being uh, descendants of Te uh, Tokotorua, Kōkamatu, and referring to them as a pivoting point for us, is around, not around our generation, but is actually what are we doing to contribute to the next generation and the generation after that. Mm -hmm. So Māori tend, tend to look beyond the uh, apopo as in how we would describe tomorrow, 
but actually the Aupopo is described in the faces of our grandchildren. Uh, and even those that I'm imagining in my head uh, are going to be my grandchildren. Uh, because that is what it means and the responsibilities that we have is it is not about us uh, and our contribution, it's what are we leaving for our grandchildren. Uh, the thing that we are able to talk about as our, um, today is are the grandchildren of Kōkāmatu. Uh, we are the descendants of Kōkāmatu and we hope that the ones that follow us will continue to pull through that legacy uh, and imagine education and scholarship. Uh, and being part of the academy is very much as the norm and not the exception. And today, today's event uh, certainly pulls us together and acknowledges the many faces, the many tokotorus, tokofas, tokorima, toko te kaumarua, uh, who have become fellows today. Uh, and through that, um, for us, that is that responsibility uh, to contribute uh, to that space. But more importantly, uh, if we, so I actually had the last four lines of the song, so I'm going to circle back to what it was. So, um, ki te whai tiri pātahi e, uh, ki te tuku whakaparapara. So it is around, sometimes you just got to let go of some bad stuff. Uh, and actually, knowledge is about that. It's breaking through those barriers, it's breaking through the challenges, and I like to think that we've done that. Ki te hopu i te... Uh, the ika i te ati, which is around killing the first person. Now that's literally because it was about war. But it is around that dedication. So that in order to succeed, sometimes you have to let go of things and push knowledge beyond its boundaries. So ki te tuku whakaparapara, but also to be successful. Um, kei ho ki te ingoa. Tēnā koutou. Thank you for your contribution today and for your contribution more broadly to Te Ao Māori, Te Ao Whānui, the Academy. Um, thank you for sharing your whakaaro with, with our iwi here today. Um, can I please have another round of applause for our country? And I'm going to pass the raka on myself now for, this, for the second session. Um, you might just want to have a quick, quick move around, uh, get refreshed again, and then we're going to um, reset for our second quarter uh, for this afternoon. Kia ora tātou.